I'm 16 years old. I left home and I kept getting in trouble. As soon as I got to MMA, it just gave me some sort of discipline. I trained for about three to four months and I had my first amateur fight. I started doing it and never stopped. I stayed undefeated. My hype's for real, it's not a joke. I'm not just in the UFC to make up numbers. I want to be fighting for titles and that's the main thing. Mark's obviously in the UFC for a reason. He's undefeated. His offense is great. His offense is good enough to be a world champion. Keep the pressure. Yep, keep that. This session today was about dealing with pressure. Hand positioning, dealing with the big puncher, dealing with the guy who wants to push him. His sparring partner didn't want to come forward too much after a few exchanges, but that's going to happen in real life. He's on track to be a champ. He's definitely on track to win, but he is definitely on track to be a champ. Punch your way out. Oh, nice, beautiful. I have bad days and I have good days here, so which is what I need. I can't always have my own way, and that can only improve me. Mark's going to be all over this guy. He's going to score a lot of points. We just can't let him get overconfident while he's scoring. Rack up your scoreboard. Come on, pop, pop, pop. These guys here have given me everything that I need, and when I go out, I'm looking to look impressive. Finish striking, yes. Strike, 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 strike. I don't want to just fight and win on points. I want to be finishing guys, and that's what I'm looking to do. Well, I'm missing my family, my kids. And that's, that's the main thing, really, because I don't, I don't really do much at home. Well, best today. Well, here it's about me, you know, I've got to be selfish. In England, there's, there's nothing like this. I've been here for like eight weeks already, and as soon as I finish training, I come up, eat, and just do nothing, just rest. Think about nothing else apart from my next session. Are you ready for me? You're ready. This, uh, this young lad's going to be the death of me, you know. 23 year old. He's got 10 years on me, I keep trying to tell him that. Ah, it brands here. <laughs> How many are you doing? 10 seconds on, 50 off, 20 on, 40 off, 30 on, 30 off. Minute straight on, minute off, and start again. You confused me already. I'm not even remember that. You're not ready. That old guy at one foot in the grave. <laughs> that hat on. He just needs the Wellington boots. If it's me, Brie, I'm not impressed at the moment. You can't do an old man's sprints. You don't make them like you used to, eh? UFC, KFC. <laughs> I, I like to knock them down, you know, just to make myself feel better. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do, you gotta beat them down, yeah. you know, let them build themselves back up. Go now. March 18. That was just a dream. Just a dream. Just a dream. That is the worst thing ever. All not done, all not done, not now. Oh, I, I, like, it's five, five minutes ago, right? I am not doing five minutes in this thing. Good job, Ben. Good job, Ben. Good job, Ben. If that's the future, We'll get strikes first. First strike, 20 bucks. All right, fair enough. Yeah? Yeah, go on, yeah. <laughs> I would do a warm-up, but you don't, you don't see a light warming up before he tackles a gazelle. He's played before, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's played before differently. <laughs> Hustled. You're on the long lane, by the way. I'm in, I'm in his head. I'm warming up. I'm warming up. <laughs> Have a sit. No, Brad, you can't do that. Ah. Do you want the barriers up? No, it's not right for you that. You sure you don't want the barriers up? Ah. <laughs> you said this is a strike. Don't go lying to me. Oh, no. I've let him back in. Now I'm feeling the pressure. Oh! Ah, oh, come on. Don't buckle, son. Don't buckle under the pressure. Last frame. <laughs> no, bye. Bye.
by one. By one? One punch. It doesn't matter. <laughs> now watch this. Just to rub salt into the rooms. He's probably been playing for his, his entire life. <laughs> well, he's retiring, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he needs a hummus. <laughs> Mark is a talent. I think in the last four weeks, he progresses tremendously. Today we worked on Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the positioning, how to position your body. We have a lot of wrestlers here. We have a lot of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts here that can help him out. He's even beating some of the guys, you know? Hey, nobody holding this dude down. England's got some scrappers. They're not taking a back seat to nobody. It's pretty cool. Don't stop, Mark. Don't stop, don't stop. Come on, Mark. We do this every Saturday. It's like more of a, a real fight. So you're grinding, pounding, you're getting taken down. You're taking a guy down, you're getting pads. It's all just together trying to stimulate the fight. 20 seconds. Look at that. You got this. Three, two, one. <laughs> Die. Who's the best team of the year? Awesome. Oh. Thank you, guys. End of the week, just having me at fun with UK guys. <laughs> when I was young, I wanted to play football. I was all right, I played for Leeds Academy. I ain't chasing that guy, am I? <laughs> Yesterday, after I was demolishing my bowling, I said, what other sports are you going to hit? He goes, I'm good at football. I said, do you reckon you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy. Go then, mate, try to score one past me. Couldn't hear cows after right, the banjo. I'm the best player without even making a save. Oh, oh he scored! As you can see, we still, real fighters, we all compete all the time anyway, so that always makes it fun. Oh. <laughs> Mark, amazing fighting skill. Good ball, not so much. No one the Leeds released you. All right, backflip. <laughs> All right. Backflips. Back one, you say do one. Do one. No, you start. No, no, you, you put the challenge up to me. Do a backflip. Right. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Great. Right. I, he, yeah. He wins the flip off. <laughs> left my comfort zone, you know, to move away from Doncaster, you know, in England, to come over to America and train. I've done everything I can, you know, I'm gonna go out there and give my all. I'm one of these guys you can never, ever underestimate, because when I come, I come to fight. Whatever team he brings, I'll be ready for it. I believe I will be a champion one day. I'm just getting started. <laughs>